Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to speak about pruning spirea. This is a very popular plant in the landscape, and we get a lot of questions about how to properly prune this plant. So there are different types of spirea. Some flower in the summer, and some flower in the spring. This one here is spirea bomalda. This one flowers in the summer, so the process I'm going to show you now can be done on this plant. Be sure to check the cultivar and the species of your plant before you do this process. If you cut the one that flowers in the spring, you will have effectively cut all the flowers off. So with this shrub here, we're going to rejuvenate prune this to increase the bloom and control the size a little bit. This shrub will get as big as it is right now by midsummer. It'll also flower. So you're not gonna hurt the plant by doing this process. Another thing to consider is after this is done flowering this summer, you'll be able to come back here and lightly shear this and get more blooms out of it for a second flush of flowers. So before we get started, I'd just like to mention that this is something you're gonna to wanna to do early in the season before the bud breaks on the plant. If you wait too long, you're gonna miss the window to get this done properly. So let's get started. All we're gonna do is go in with our, our pruners here and start cutting at the base of the plant about six inches from the base. Now you're not gonna to wanna to be too concerned with where you're making the cuts because this plant will grow right back. But during this process, you're gonna to wanna to take any of the dead wood out all the way down to the base. Okay, so now we're done pruning the shrub and you'll see I've cut all the stems about six inches to the ground. A great benefit of pruning the shrub this way early in the season is that you only have to prune it once this season. 